Hi guys, how are you? Pangit! <laughs> <laughs> It's me, Lauren Young, and welcome back to my vlog. So today, I have two guests, which are my sister and my brother, Victor. Hi. Megan. Ah, ah, Megan, Megan. My sister, Megan, and my brother, Victor. My sister, my brother, Victor. <laughs> So, ayan, nandito na naman tayo ngayon sa studio ko na bago, which is Megan's condo. This is the third video of me shooting here and I'm about to use up my free coupons because the next time I shoot here, I feel like she's gonna start charging me rent for equipment and for the space. Kula na lang gawin ko siyang editor. The last time you shot here, you used the microphone lang. And now we're actually using our light. My set na rin ako! Hello, parang friends! My sofa! This is a new thing that I'm doing on my vlog. I feel like I finally figured out how I want my vlog to go, which is maganto. I like doing sit downs, I like talking because I feel like people kind of get to know me more and get to know the people in my life who are much more interesting than me. So, wow. kaya lagi ako may guest dito. Hindi na lang ako mag-isa lagi. And because I get scared to shoot a vlog by myself. <laughs> okay, so today, um, because I saw some comments from my previous videos, and nagtataka sila bakit wala si Victor. <laughs> No, actually, she doesn't. Oh, the shade of it all. So, David, you say, even young videos, Dami Dami Yang Kinokong content of me, just for the Ingman of Fire Halo Sola, but okay. See, I'm going to edit the message. She's going to get edit outside. So, in order for the internet to get to know us more, so I prepared a few questions along with our good friend, Ate Brenda, and I'm going to be asking questions that you have to answer about me and about yourself as well. So that people can understand the dynamic of our relationship. Because he's our guest and because I don't want to ask Megan, si Victor is the first answer. What's up? Because he does that, he really does that. Like he'll agree with you. What are you proudest of me for? One thing. Look right. I'm proudest of you in terms of growing up. Because, di ba kung nandito mo before na yung financial struggles mo? Yeah. I was the one na inaalagan yun. So during that time, sa yung ano? I was his Megan. What Megan was to me? Oh, uh -oh. which is weird considering na siya yung younger, ganyan. I'm really proud na nag-stick yung ibang traits from that time kasi andun na yung ano eh, nandun yung responsibility. I'm proud of you because you don't need my help anymore. Or Megan's help in that sense. Yeah. Because you, that means you can stand alone. And we all strive to be independent in that sense that when problems come our way, we know how to figure it out without asking for help. But also, the, when we, we know that when we need help, we, we're Maybe capable of asking. Yes, that's why I'm asking that I might need help for next month's rent. <laughs> <laughs> With me and Megan, um, I recently had to borrow a bit of money from her. But what I do is, I don't, I don't ask her knowing that she's going to give it to me. Before mm -hmm. I even ask her, I ask her, hey, is it fine? And if it's not, it's okay. But if I'm going to pay you back, I, I'm going to give her a date when I can pay her. Yeah. And I pay her with interest. Mm -hmm. Because money is not just for her to... It's not uh -oh. back and forth. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's I've noticed na kunare whether it's money or not, parang kung meron tayong kailangan na tulong or we want to ask something. Usually, what we do is para bang parang nila lay out natin. Ilalatag mo yipan. This is the situation. This is why I need it. This is why ano I'm asking for your help. Tapos yun ngayon parang how can I repay? Yes. Oh, oh, yung parang payment terms ba? Anyways, the thing that I'm most proud about Lauren is that stop laughing like mom. She doesn't let her emotions get to her right away anymore. Before, if something happened and she didn't like it, Hurricane. she'd immediately react. As in, parang either cry, what do I do? shout, or she'd either have a violent <laughs> reaction. She'd be like, but whatever. As in, on levels now. But now, she really takes the time to process the situation, what has happened, and then she waits and thinks of what to say before she lets her words out. 
because I think in the past you've mentioned uh, you didn't want to say something that would eventually hurt the person you're talking to and yourself and your relationship with them. So I'm proud that you've moved on from that phase and you're more responsible with your reactions and how you talk to people. Yeah, I think it's because I know how it feels like when people just say say things without thinking and it hurts me and and there have been instances that that has happened to me and people only think that you can forgive them because they'll say oh i'm sorry i said it in the moment but what they don't understand is it has um long-term effects for yeah. some people i don't want to ruin relationships just because i wanted to overpower someone during that time <laughs> Yeah. with my yeah. words because words are powerful and you have to be careful with what you say whether it's good or whether it's bad can i add to that i think this was the time na parang you know and naming beses na naririnig namin na si Lauren she would be like eh ganito ako eh bakit parang yeah. bakit you know she uh, make that like her it's an excuse. You, you, yes it was it was her like parang go to na para bang eh ganito ang tao bakit ako magaano like bakit you ako know mag-adjust. and then it was nice na para bang you, you don't hear that from her anymore no. I, I think I've become you're... very uh, no, sensitive when it comes to other people. Like, I've realized that the world does not revolve around me. My words can be powerful depending on who I'm talking to. Yeah. What if I didn't yeah. know I was talking to someone who is super sensitive and or or that was through going, through, like, going, yeah. go, going through something? Then I don't want to have a huge and bad effect on that person. Yeah. yeah. Next question. This is a question for ourselves. So it's not about it's not about me. It's not about you. It's more like you have internal. To, internal. It's an internal thing. Okay. Are you lying to yourself about anything? Brenda. Brenda, ano ba tong mga tanong mo ha? Matanong lang kita. <laughs> Are you lying to yourself about something? <laughs> I think I think everyone in the world is lying to themselves about something. Whether it's small or big. Whether it's small or big. I think I'm lying to myself about being okay with where I am in life. Mm-hmm. I constantly like to think, about, oh, I'm okay, this is what I'm happy with. And yes, to a certain extent, I'm very happy with how my life is right now. But I think I say that I'm okay with how it is because I'm scared to like move forward. When I was young. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my vlog. She got a Shake Shack for Megan. <laughs> she doesn't even eat. Food. She doesn't even eat. Hi guys, this is Mikael. Say hi, Mick. Hello. Hola. I'm so happy. So going back to that. I think I'm lying to myself about because I'm scared of what's going to happen. And I think people are always scared of feeling their inner sense. But this is why uh, I'm trying to get myself out of that thinking habit. I think I'm lying to myself about being okay with where, with where I am in life. I think people are always scared of failure in a sense. I'm trying to be consistent with the things that I do. Like right now, it's this vlog. I'm being consistent with my shooting schedule and mm. my update schedule and all of that. So I feel like this is the first step and I will try to figure out my next step from here. I'm lying to myself when I say that I want to share this burger with Victor because honestly, I don't. <laughs> but, so but I love you, so I'm gonna share it with you. Nice. That was a hefty bite. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Okay. That was a good burger. I don't have that anything that I'm lying to myself about. Strong. That itself yeah. is a lie. No, it's not. <laughs> I forgot when I heard this or when I came across it. Main thing was about like happiness or positivity. Mm-hmm. Especially if you have a problem. So you say, ah, okay, lang ako. or like, I'm a positive person. It's when you don't address the negativity in your life. So is that what you're lying to yourself about? Yeah, because there, there are things that I didn't address. That I just said it first. But then I always tell myself like I'm in a good place, I'm happy, I'm positive. When it's not really true, because there are things that are like backlog. Na yan. Isn't yeah. that what you call deflecting? Parang ganun siya. You might think that what I said na I'm not lying to myself about anything is like too strong or that maybe it's a lie. But honestly, I think I've reached a point in my life where Mick and I have really practiced being honest yeah. mm-hmm. with each other mm-hmm. and we practice being honest to ourselves for so long that I'm happy wherever I am. I have to think I don't like. No, you have ketchup on your <laughs> <Nice. I'm sorry. laughs> 
Anyway, I'm happy wherever I am. No matter what happens, I'll still be happy. It it takes a while to get to that point. Yeah, I'm sure. But I think you're content. I am content. Yeah. I'm very much content. Like, and when you're content with life, you don't have to pretend and lie to yourself about yeah. certain things. Yeah, if I lose something, then I'll see the bright side to things. Like uh-huh. There must be a good reason and there must be a direction that I'm supposed to go. Like, what if I lose one job that yeah. I really, really wanted? There must be a reason why I didn't get that. So I have to find that reason behind it and reflect on it. You look like a ghost there, Mikael. <laughs> Just like standing there. Yeah, it's so, so creepy. Creeper. You wanna join? Saba. 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 Nap time. Have another bite. Okay. Okay, after that, guys, can we like take this seriously? Oh, we are taking it seriously. Okay, because I feel like, like this eating too much. So, <laughs> second bite. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to a little bit. Oh, oh, oh take this seriously, Lauren. Next question is this. Ask me something you think is off limits. What's your heaviest weight? My heaviest weight was 181 pounds. That was my lightest. <laughs> That was my heaviest. I know. Mikael took an Instagram shot of like his weight and I was like, Mikael and I kind of weigh the same. <laughs> hey, you're not even part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to realize that. <laughs> but I asked a good question. You did. How was your lifestyle when you were at that weight? Um, my lifestyle when I was at that weight was, it was a lot of drinking heavily. Alcohol. Yeah, like I would drink four to five times a week. Yeah, that was like a really dark time in my life. Wait, was this when you were living with me? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was, dark time. That was a really dark time in my life. <laughs> I was living with Megan. No, that was when I first moved here. We yeah. weren't okay yet. Because I was so uncomfortable living here. I always wanted to be out of the house. Spencer, I was never here. Yeah. The and start, then, she, she never stayed here. She would just be like, I'm going out. And then she'd come home at like 5 a.m. No, or I'd sleep over at all my friends' house because yeah. I don't want to come home. Who do I remind you of and why? No, like, so good, okay, let's keep this simple. Who do I remind you of in our family and why? Like, who am I more similar to in this family? No one. No We're one. all very different, no? Yeah. Like, all of us have different personalities. Although I can say that you last year was very similar to mom before she moved to the States. So it just shows, I'm like mom, when we both react the same way when we're in dark places. Yeah, and when you're, when you're super angry and you're not in a good place, you both react the same way. Yeah. Like you're very, we yeah. react uh-huh. uh-huh. you're very like, galit, and then you show that through your words. It's very prideful. Yeah. Very, oh yeah, you very both pr- are my pride. Yeah. You and mom. That's why you guys sometimes always, I think always I'm not. Sometimes before. I think I'm not a Scorpio, I think I'm an Aries sometimes. So guys, that was the first part of this vlog and if you want to watch the second part, then that's coming next week again on this channel and I just want to say thank you to Megan and Victor for guesting on my vlog and you can catch the second part of this episode next week. Like, subscribe. Bye. 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 Iwasan natin mag um para it sounds better like when you edit. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Next question. Ano?